Just got done editing the video. You guys can see there's a bunch of stuff behind me anyways. I want to say thank you guys for all the support on the last video. Thank you guys for the support on the trips to the thrift in general. It takes a lot of time and I have other things that I have to do. However, you guys have been killing it with the likes. You guys have been killing it with the comments. So here we are with yet another trip to the thrift. Smash the like button, show some love in the comments, subscribe and turn on post notification if you, at any point you find yourself enjoying the video. If you don't enjoy the video, then don't subscribe. Why Why would you? Anyways, we gotta get to the thrift store. It's Sunday, currently with Yaz. I, as you guys can see, am a professional skateboarder. That's why I'm wearing this hoodie that says Shorty Skateboards. We're a couple minutes late, so we're probably gonna miss the first rotation. It's all her fault, and uh, yeah, let's get in and find some heat. Okay, so a little single stitch father knows best. <laughs> little Harley Davidson pinup tee. This one's a little bit newer, but still kind of cool. USA made, Russell Athletic, Montana Grizzly. It's kind of a cool little spell out. And then of course, a newer, but nice little faded Russell Athletic crew neck. Honestly, the morning is kind of slow and I'm not quite sure I want to wait for that next rotation but uh, yeah hopefully we can find some stuff Alright, so I'm two minutes late. It's Monday. Sometimes when you're going to the Goodwill bins like every single day at the same time, it starts to feel a little like Groundhog's Day. Even though I'm two minutes late right now, thankfully the line just walked in, so I'm actually on time. Well, this is confusing. It says made in USA, but it also says made in Jordan Keys? Kais? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this place is not in the US of A. Two rotations, and all I got is one pair of pretty cool colored Carhartts. Well, I found a little Carhartt essential tee, but other than that, it's been pretty slow. Okay, so I came to my storage unit to grab these three boxes. I already opened them because I actually had to move them into newer boxes. And I never got to show these off. And you will not believe where I purchased those from. Anyways, I gotta get back to the house. All right, so these boxes right here, these are mystery boxes, mystery boxes that I bought months ago. I've already had a little bit of a gander because I moved them into other boxes. The real mystery is that box right there. It's a little early, but yes, we have the Black Blade of Justice. I don't know why I called it that. Normally, I would spend the first half of the video in the trenches, AKA the thrift store, and in the second half of the video, I would do a recap. Now, we are going to show off some of these mystery boxes and not so mystery, mystery, boxes and then we are going to go back to the thrift store now the reason these three mystery boxes are not so mystery mystery boxes is because i purchased them from goodwill yes goodwill for those of you guys that do not know goodwill tries to find stuff before it hits the floor so they can sell it online at premium market price as well just like all of the other pickers in the bins now there's a bunch of different goodwill websites and they also use ebay and other online platforms i would normally not recommend buying these mystery boxes however i had a friend that worked there i believe it was worked i hope it was worked Otherwise, he's probably gonna get fired. He packed the boxes with stuff, so I already know that they are profitable boxes. I think I got either two $100 boxes, I do not recall, but check him out, super cool dude. He does find some heat. His Instagram is Florida Flipper. I will leave that somewhere on the screen in the description below. Unless he is currently working there, then I will actually not put this part of the video in the video. Now, another really good dude to follow on Instagram is Rocket City Vintage. Now, this is where the mystery mystery box comes into play. I do not know what's in this mystery box. He has different tiers. This is a platinum tier. A $500 box that's supposed to be valued at $1,000. There's either 40 tees or 10 bangers. I'm assuming based off the size of the box that he gave me 10 bangers. All right, let me put the spectacles on. First up we have, ooh, Grateful Dead joint, 1992. Kind of a banger, especially since I just found a Grateful Dead in the last video that I was kind of thinking maybe I might have to use that for a thumbnail. Made in USA, single stitch. Look at those dancing bears with that Grateful Dead sun rising in the background or setting i don't know either way next up we have poison 1988 so yes this is before your father impregnated your mother and gave birth to you next up we have this absolutely uh delicious rolling stones tea right here look at those juicy lips with that tongue just hanging out 1989 the north american tour Ooh, this is a sick one eat my shorts bart simpson tea holy shit, where's rocket city vintage getting all of his heat from i actually just had a post on thrift row for those of you guys that don't know thrift row is my resale page and i posted some vintage simpsons bangers on there this one actually might be in the personal then we have another grateful dead hey man i I just sold one like this as well. Oh man, this is a sick one. Look at these gorgeous little turtles. Am I not turtles? 
turtly enough for the turtle club 1995 with the grateful dead spell out that one is a banger is this like a dyed batman what the so this batman is like a cream color but you can see the original color i think was meant to be black and you can also tell by looking at the threads which are black and you can see the batman spell out just ever so slightly going down the left side then we have a Mar marlboro single stitch oh, Sick. I'm gonna have to pick up smoking. There should be three left. Damn, that's a good one too. That is a beautiful NASCAR tee. Made in USA, woven Chase Authentics tag. Burger King on the ass cheeks. This is crazy. Like honestly, for $500, this is actually insane. We have the Stanley Cup playoffs in 1993. You have this individual sitting on this ice throne. Lord of the R-I-N- Oh, rinks, rinks, I think, right? Like skating rink. Do I look like a A1 figure skater? No. Uh, then last but not least. Oh, that's dope. It's a cone head. Let's hone cones. Pink with the Paramount pictures. Single stitch, of course. Man, my collection just went up off of one box. Shout out my homie Rocket City Vintage. Like I said, he does sell these. The platinum tier, I think is $500 for $1,000 in value. And the idea is that you will either get 10 bangers like that or you will get 40 regular tees and it's basically split up by size. I honestly normally do not recommend vintage mystery boxes because I feel like it's somewhat easy to inflate prices. However, only reason I decided to actually show off his mystery boxes is because he is someone that I genuinely feel like I can trust. If you wanna check that out, like I said, his Instagram will be on the screen along with my homie's Instagram as well. Now I'm not gonna go piece by piece, but like he definitely, <laughs> hooked me up. <laughs> like I said, this is a not so mystery mystery box. There's some mid, but there's also some bangers. Ooh, Christian Dior. Christian Dior, Dior. What the f is this? It's like a short sleeve jacket. I guess for people who have naturally warm forearms. This uh, USA NASCAR is actually sick. I don't remember seeing this one. Ooh, another Christian Dior short sleeve warm forearmed Windbreak. I actually forgot how much good stuff came in those boxes. That right there, gorgeous. The Washington Bullets on the Salem. USA made white tag Nike check. Boston. Oh man. The Heartbeat of America, little Chevy piece. Seattle Seahawks. And then the absolutely gorgeous Miami Hurricanes pro player. This right here is insane. Shout out Florida Flipper. Shout out Rocket City Vintage. I don't think he sells mystery boxes. He does sell mystery boxes. Both of them super good dudes in the community. Now, like I said, this is not just like a mystery box unboxing. We still got some thrifting to do and I gotta go up north so that way I can go see some of my good friends from Sneak City. Well, one half of Sneak City currently. The other half of the fam showed up. Yeah, we'll look. No way. It's a printed tag. <laughs> That would have been crazy. I mean, it's still a cool one I'm gonna sell. It's crazy how if it literally was just a tag, it would be yeah, right? fucking 15 times more valuable. All right, last rotation before I go home. Last one. Not gonna lie to you guys, I am super tired. By the way, before I leave, I have to show you guys some stuff that I got. Uh, fun fact, yes, I'm posing as a smoker today. I started off the video posing as a skateboarder and now I'm a posing chain smoker. Bring them out, bring them out. Always trust your instincts. So I saw this hoodie right here, kind of stained up, but it looks older. However, there's no tag, still looks a little older. So I looked at the bottom and look at this absolutely gorgeous, like 1980s. Oh, fireball tea, tastes like heaven, burns like hell. The overalls oh, dress. <laughs> I've been looking for this. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Summer fit right here. Hurry up, we're waiting on you. <laughs> Look through that box just to see some of the stuff that I got. How much was it? 500 bucks. Batman? Yeah, single stitch Batman. Cone heads. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Grateful Dang. Dead. Yeah. I mean, it comes out to like 50 bucks a tee. Basically, he does either like 10 bangers or 40 mid tees, you know? Simpson. Ooh, yeah. Look at that one. Yeah. That one might be a personal. Where'd you get this from? Uh, Rocket City Vintage. Yeah. Lord of the Rinks. <laughs> like what is it? Yeah, yeah. Really it's cool. a fat box for sure. Look at that another one. Another one? Yeah, another Grateful Dead. And then the That's cool. And that's only nine because here, hold this. I'm wearing the tenth one. Like I said, I'm posing as the world's largest chain smoker. So I got the Marlboro Russell. And then I got this Marlboro oh. right here. But check out the back though. The back is crazy. Oh hell yeah. The snake on the back is so sick. That is cool. Wait, what does it say right here? Oh, I thought it's supreme. <laughs> Ooh, it is sunny outside. Anyways, late once again. Missed the first rotation. Hopefully, I did not miss this. Oh, I did. Damn it. 
second rotation also missed. We got blankets. We don't like blankets. But we do have some clothes. Maybe something right there. Maybe some stuff over there. You got your eye on some? Not seeing nothing. But you tell me if you did though. Trying to snipe some pieces as it comes out. I did find some crew necks in the last rotation. Zero to 70. I'm gonna throw that back, but these right here, I was hoping they were reverse weaves, especially when I felt a little side gussets. However, uh, they're blanks. Well, kind of. This one's actually not a blank. If you look ever so slightly, you have a tonal-ish light pink Boeing embroidery. Oh God, more linens. Good quality little vintage crew neck, heavy duty. Ignore this slight little potential urine stain. Beautiful vintage Fruit of the Loom, USA made crew neck. You can just tell by the top of that gorgeous tag right there. And then uh, here we got some uh, children's overalls for anyone who wants to uh, enroll their child into some nice good old child labor. Look, you got some little talon zippers. Now please bring out some clothes. Was the varsity good? Let's see what you got. Watch this be like some insane banger. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah, RIP to the sleeves, but yeah, once those get repaired, though, it'll be sick. Found a little Lee denim jacket. I'm pretty stoked that he found this. It's kind of cool. It's a long sleeve thermal, but beams. Pretty uh, sick to see in the thrift. It's kind of weird to see it come out in Tacoma, just because I feel like a lot of people aren't really into clothes like that, so it's weird to see. All right, I just bought this off the homie. There you go. Honestly, the only piece I'm really excited about is the beams piece. Nothing crazy today. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to stay motivated in the thrifts. I feel like when people see these videos, they're watching all these little brief moments in time where I'm like kind of excited, but I would say most days are like this. It's just kind of, uh. So it's hard to make these weekly because I know you guys might think I find heat all the time, but I go almost every day. All right, I have to prep for this weekend because on May 7th at 3 p.m. I'm gonna be on 1980 something co. I'm gonna put that Instagram somewhere on the screen. I'm going to be auctioning off some pieces. I don't know if all of these are going to be in it. I actually have some even crazier bangers that I will be posting on there or auctioning off, but a Grateful Dead. It's beautiful Metallica with the Rat Fink graphic. Tina Turner, Ludacris, Star Trek. And then I also grabbed some pieces to go on Thrift Row. But yeah, May 7th, 3 p.m. on 1980 something co. I'm running a live auction. So had to come to the storage unit and grab some stuff. Uh, my allergies are terrible. We have some announcements, some stuff to show you, and I also need your guys' advice. First of all, with the advice, I tried this Christian Dior jacket on just because I thought it was kind of weird that it was like a short sleeve windbreaker. And I'm kind of liking it. So please let me know if I am smoking crack. For some reason, I think it looks kind of sick. I was trying it on. I'll insert a little video clip for you guys to check out. You guys can let me know in the comments. Of course, while you're down there, smash the like button, show some love in the comments, and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have at all enjoyed this video. Now, the other uh, little piece of advice I'd like to get from you is, well, actually, no, never mind. I already know I'm not gonna be able to keep it. I want to just because I think it's kind of cool it came out in the thrifts, but this beams piece, way too small. It makes it look like I'm just trying too hard to look buff and yeah, this is probably gonna either go to Yaz or get posted to the site. But there are some definite pieces I will be keeping and those pieces are from the mystery box that I showed off earlier. This piece right here, I think I am gonna get rid of just cause uh, I don't smoke, but the graphic is really sick and I do kinda wanna keep it. And there are two other tees that I want, so I don't wanna keep too much from the box cause of course I need to, you know, I need to make some money. Still a business at the end of the day. But yeah, this Bart Simpson tee, fire. I tried it on, it fits amazing. I love the little distressings around the collar. The more thrash the tee, the better for me bars. <laughs> and then we got this Rolling Stones. I wasn't the biggest fan of this originally, but I tried it on, it just fits so nice. I just kind of like how it contrasts off this gray base. Damn, it doesn't look like they came to, uh... Washington though, that's kind of a bummer. I think I'm gonna keep those two. The rest of that mystery box will probably be sold on Thrift Row over the next couple weeks. Speaking of Thrift Row, a drop should be live at the time this video goes live or a little bit later today. If not, it will definitely be live tomorrow. Not to mention on Thrift Row, I'll be going live with 1980 something codes to auction off all of these insane bangers starting at a dollar. Look at this Pokemon piece. Oh. My God! Show you some of the other pieces. I am gonna sell this. <laughs> this is gonna be on the next drop. I kind of wanted to keep it because it fits good, but I don't know anything about Miami Hurricanes. I don't even know what sport they play, so I can't wear this jacket in public and have someone ask me like, "Oh, I'm a big fan of Miami Hurricanes. I used to live down in Miami." Blah 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 blah. And then me have to explain to them that I don't know anything about this team. I just like the jacket because the tape seam, the color blocking, the embroidery, and all of that. There were some other pieces. This Washington Bullets piece right here. Look at the back the slam dunk spell out on the back is so 
sick. I also, of course, grabbed some pieces from the storage unit while I was there to go with some of these pieces because whenever I do the product photos on Thrift Row, I like to have similar styled pieces photographed next to each other. So I grabbed this little big head graphic right here. Also, these like New Orleans tees, this is pretty dope. I like this front hit, 4K tray, craw daddy. And then you got the back right here. It says New Orleans, Louisiana, Planet Earth. This one's kind of weird because this back graphic is super sick, right? Rhodes Gospel Tent. And then on the front, it has some other services. It says funeral homes, insurance, limousines, and transportation. That seems like the most random uh, list of services. But hey, man, shout out to the Gospel Tent in New Orleans, Louisiana, and also shout out to NBA Youngboy. Yeah, I'm not going to go into every single piece, obviously. I'm going to bid you guys farewell. But there's going to be a lot of heaters, a lot of bangers going up on Thrift Row. I'm going to leave a link to my thrift page and my website in the description down below. Also, check out the individuals that I discussed in this video, Rocket City Vintage, Florida Flipper, and 1980-something Co. Hopefully, I see you guys in the auction on Saturday. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate you all from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life and peace. Star life, Chris, say shooting on Mexico. These thoughts been ran through, goddamn it. And my brother is that guy.